Because we've been controlled by China. Are you ready for the repercussions of what you do? That's an old lady we've been watching from up there. What's she done? She's 78, is she? Consistently to COVID regulations. What, what COVID regulations? She's an old lady. We've been watching. She was just on her own. What's she done? That's a persistent feature of COVID regulations. But what, what, what regulation is she doing? She's not a, got an exemption for protest. Protest is How many of them were there? Two of them? One of them? No, lots more before, say. So you've all the full stories. You see. I do know that you're arresting an old lady for demonstrating right to protest. Um, this this is the absolute disgrace. This is a disgrace. She's an old lady. You don't need to, you don't need to obey any orders as police officers. You must have mothers. What an outrage. What a disgrace. Have you listening to him? Yeah, exactly. You lost your bloody heart. Following orders like Nuremberg. She has a fundamental right to protest. You're arresting her. Protect her. We've talked about it. Who is this lady? So you ready for what you started then? Yeah, I'm glad. Sorry, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. I'm a member of parliament for Broxbourne. You ready Someone for that? find out oh, how old she is, let me know who she is, and I'll raise it in parliament. Ask her. Yeah. Email me you know, who she is, you know who she what, is? what she's allegedly done, and email it to Charles Walker, okay? Don't worry about it. This is a disgrace. Madam Deputy Speaker, I have just witnessed an elderly lady peacefully protesting with a handful of other people be arrested and carried spread eagle to a police van just outside the precinct of the House of Commons. This is a disgrace. This is un-British. It is unconstitutional. And this government, our Prime Minister, needs to end these injustices now. Madam Deputy Speaker, will you bring the Prime Minister and all the Home Secretary here today to sort this out? She was an old, old lady robbed of her dignity for having the courage to protest about having her fundamental rights and those of my constituents and others removed. Well, I thank um, the Honourable Gentleman for his uh, point of order. Um, I, shall, I can see that this is obviously an extremely um, distressing uh, situation. Um, I shall, of course, ensure that the Speaker is aware of, of um, the Honourable gentle, gentle, Gentleman's comments. But I also know that we have um, ministers here who I'm sure will ensure that his comments are fed back and his very strong views on the incident that happened. Thank you.